Take a break from your busy schedule and join Harold Sala for Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. Pain, prosperity, and power have far more in common than the fact that in the English language, these three words all begin with the letter P. As a catalyst in a laboratory which precipitates chemical changes in a given substance, these three change individuals who have to cope with them. In a real sense, they are like paint or varnish removers of the soul that reveals the true character of a person within. Pain, for example, has been with us from the day that Cain struck his brother and killed him. But the physical pain was quickly followed by emotional pain as our first father and mother saw their lives torn apart, knowing not only that they had lost a son, but their remaining son was a murderer. C.S. Lewis, a Christian apologist, thought of pain as God's megaphone. It gets your attention as few things do in life. Some think of the absence of pain as God's gift of grace. Others experience the true grace of God in times of severe pain in ways they would never know it otherwise. Why some suffer and why some are exempted generally has nothing to do with either your sinfulness or your righteousness. Though, let's face it, the consequences of bad choices, including acts of our sinful rebellion against God and what He wills for us, does produce pain and suffering. Paul, a man used mightily by God, cried out to God on three separate occasions. He asked God to bring healing to his body. Instead, he found God's grace, learning that in his human weakness there is God's strength. Poverty and prosperity are neither a reward nor a curse, but both have a way of changing people. They reduce us to the stark nakedness of life or else put within our grasp the potential for tremendous good. Both, however, are catalysts that change you for better or worse. Though your riches increase, said the psalmist, don't set your heart on them. Why? Because money is sinful? No, though some would answer in the affirmative, thinking that you can't be honest and yet successful. But the reality is that wealth is simply a stewardship. It can turn your heart from what is important, forgetting that you brought nothing into the world and you will take nothing out. There is another catalyst in life. It is the power that comes through success or prominence. Strange, this one, in that some rise through the ranks unaffected by their importance. Certainly they are busy and bear great responsibility, but they're unaffected by the titles. They still put their pants on one leg at a time and eat just one meal at a time, just as they did long before they were rich, famous, or powerful. Others, though, inflated with their own accomplishments, are actually looking for a vacancy in the Trinity. But lacking that, they've set themselves apart from the rest of the world in a class reserved only for a few. What's the difference in all of this? Not what you are externally, how you act, what you wear, or the restaurant you may eat at whether it's a few sticks of saute at a roadside stall or the finest restaurant in your city. It's what's inside you, your integrity, the real you. That determines what you do. Understanding that we are but dust and will someday leave behind everything we have accumulated is sobering but necessary. Paul reminds Timothy, we brought nothing into the world and we can take nothing out. No wonder Paul instructed us to lay up our treasure in heaven where no identity theft can rob you, and it will never depreciate, and you will get exactly the interest you deserve. That's the investment that ultimately counts, the one we must live for. You've just heard Dr. Harold Sala with Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. If you would like to listen to the program again, download a copy, subscribe to our e-commentary, or view other resources, visit guidelines.org. We would like to hear from you, too. You can email us at info at guidelines.org. That's info at guidelines.org. Thanks for listening, and we invite you to join us again for the next edition of Guidelines.